Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jones. Uh, that was Josh Egan, or I mean Jim Crisps for the intro there. Hoping you know appreciates me playing his music. Anyway, um, if you, anyone else wants to send a music to me, uh, just message me and I'll, I'll play it for an intro. Do you know, I, I quite enjoyed editing that tiny clip. Anyway, more importantly, PvP Ranger Build 2013 motherfucker. It's uh, March the 21st, I think. So, if you're watching this in the future, you might, you know, find that the build's not as good anymore. Anyway, so, it's a PvP, so I'm going to need to get my, my traits out. So, what I have is 20, 20, 30. You're probably wondering why 20, 20, 30. I want to keep the damage and precision as much as possible, but also I want to have uh, toughness, which is the one that's got 30, for more sur- for, oh, fucking hell. For, um... For survivability, best thing it's the best thing for PvP survivability. You know, it doesn't matter if you could shred out hundreds of damage. I, I used to think, oh, it doesn't matter if I die really fast as long as I can kill them really fast. It's not how it works. It's not how it works. You have to have some survivability as well. You need to be able to keep the damage flowing and being able to stay alive at the same time, which I've figured out this this works. Only reason I've not done health is because the skill traits are more for like if you're wanting to just support and heal other players as well as yourself which I don't mind doing but I'd rather just be that guy that can take all the damage in the middle anyway we'll start off with marksmanship marksmanship 20 points in the air I won't go over these ones because you should be able to see them yourself anyway I've got number three which is keen edge <clears throat> use sharpening stone when your health reaches a uh, 25 uh, 75% uh, what it does is basically the exact same as this skill here, so you don't need to have it on, Sharpening Stone. It ki it, it gives you it when you reach uh, 75%, which is pretty cool. It means you can actually have a full skill, technically. Um, and I've got uh, Piercing Arrows. It's, it's amazing to have. Uh, it, just, it, it tells you exactly what it is. Um, if there's two opponents and they're standing one in front of each other, you can attack both, both targets with your arrows. Anyway. Next one. S skirmishing. Sorry, skirmishing. 20 points in there. Uh, I won't read these ones again because you should know what they are. Uh, number two. Sharpening ed edges causes uh, bleed damage on critical hits. And because you've got quite high critical with uh, the other, it's, it's good to have that on. Quick draw. Short bow and long bow skills recharge 25% faster, which is really good if you're in a long fight. Anyway, well done, this survival. 30 points. It really makes sense to put 30 points in there. Because there's a lot of bleed things I've got there, uh, I've put the, in here as well as toughness, because you get condition damage for being tough, basically, which is pretty good. Uh, increases endurance regeneration by 50%, which is quite good. I'm going to explain this one a lot better, because these ones are easy. Anyway, well done this knowledge. The survival skills recharge 20% faster. That is amazing to have because the quickening Zephyr, which is this attack here, and the lightning reflexes are just, they're the two, ma two main things. As well as that, your elite attack is actually a survival trait. So basically, 20% uh, faster for your elite, uh, elite skill to recharge and you get them coming on a regular basis. Hide in plain sight, this is a really, really, really good one. See if you get stunned, right, and, or like, push back or whatever, like, you, you get like, absolutely pumped at one bit. You can just like, half the time this like, triggers and you go invisible, right? You go invisible for like, a couple of seconds, but like, the enemy's like, where the fuck do you go? Give you enough time to heal up or get out of the stun mark that they put you. Uh, peak strength, deal 5 uh, extra damage when your health is above you know, 50 per, uh, no, 90%, which is pretty good. And anyway, it barks, and this is what you really want to have as well. You and your pet take 30% less damage under 25% health. It's really, really good to have because there's a lot of sticky situations I've seen myself getting out of because of that. Anyway, I'm going to show you my weapons I have on, then I'm going to show you the runes. I have, actually, a long bow and a short bow. Two reasons. One, long bow does a lot more damage than the short bow, but the long bow is for push back, uh, area attacks, so if there's like an area where there's like three people and there's only two of you, 
it's good to keep the damage flowing and obviously it's good to have pushback and few, uh, rapid fire because rapid fire combined it with quick and therefore it just flies out I'll, I'll show you i'll show you right now as you can see that that there usually does about 10k damage so that's quite a lot of damage anyway short bow i like the short bow because we've already got a lot of bleed damage on so if we pop the entangle as you can see it mobilizes people and also does a lot of bleed damage right also the good thing about the the crossfire attack is that it does bleed damage if you're behind or aside them so you can just like run around and make sure you get to the back and if you get to the back fast enough you can uh, shoot out concussion shot and concussion shot if you're behind them or at the side you stun or daze them so you could stun them and then keep on getting the bleed damage onto them and then when they come out of it you just kind of quick shot backwards and then you know you do that and uh, if they're getting too close you can just smack them back with the point blank range that's why i think that the the two bows are a great combo anyway i'm going to show you what runes i've got on runes that i have on are the runes of the eagle eagle for two reasons uh five percent damage when they've got less than 50 percent health i did that because i've already got a five percent damage when they have um less no when they've got more than 90 percent health or was it yeah see i've already got that there so I didn't want to put like another, the Rune of the Ranger is quite good, it says you get an, an extra 5% damage when you've got a pet, but half the time your pet dies, and I don't know if that takes it off, but I wouldn't want to risk it anyway. So, I've got all these on, all the Rune of the Eagle. Uh, I do have two Berserker amulets on, it's just to keep, keep my power, pre uh, precision and vitality up, as well as critical. Anyway. I've got the I've got five percent critical chance because you want that critical so you can actually get the the damage the the bleed damage from the tree and stun duration. The only reason I've got that on my short bolt is because of the concussion shot because you get to stun them and then you get to stun them for an extra fifteen percent as well as the entangle that stuns them as well. The reason I've got a uh, signet of the hunt on is because I use the the raven. The Raven is such, I don't know if it's like underrated, that Raven does a lot, a, a lot of uh, critical damage as well, and it blinds your foe, right, so if you're starting a fight, bang, use the um, Hunter Shot, it gives your pet swiftness, right, and when your pet gets close enough, you just click that off, because what that does is that gives your uh, pet's next attack, it deals more damage. So it deals as much, a lot more damage when it blinds your foe, and it usually takes off about two or three k, and it's good for an animal. So that's what I like to do, and and when I'm getting mass handed to me, I get my bear out, shake off the conditions, and then what I do is, you know, when I'm down, to use my bear to come heal me because he, I don't know, he just seems to take a lot more damage than anyone else. As you can tell, his vitality is four thousand, so I don't know, he's probably got like twenty k health. Um. As for the Raven, the Raven's only got like 1,000, and its precision's quite high, so you can see that it does do a lot of critical damage. Anyway, guys, I'm going to show you some gameplay of me playing this class. Um, give me a thought on what you think about the class. If you're going to try it, if you're going to try it, you can even, you can even like, add me as a friend in this. My name is Eternal Jones. I'll just, um, I'll put it up on the screen, okay? Anyway, guys, uh, hope you enjoy the, the footage of me using this class. Tell me I'm all the news Microscopic hands to feed you My ship has sailed The irony of factoring
Thank you.